Hey guys, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm here late editing the video you're about to see now. So thanks again for taking the time to check in. And you're like, wait, what are we what are we doing here, Rick? Are we doing daily uploads again? No, it just kind of happened this way these last couple of days. So yeah, do what we can just to connect with you guys and share real time stuff. I got a couple of C8 send offs for you today. Thanks for watching. One going to the state of Oregon or Oregon, however you want to say that, and another one to Texas. Welcome to our Corvette channel. guys so this is what the heck is that so this is the car that we did the video on testing the camera to see if it stayed on which it does the entire time after it collapses and closes down to the back of the car in that video we had this guy making a surprise appearance and dr. Brian said hey Rick when I get my Corvette and I put my top down I better see my smiley face guy okay sir you got it of course without a light mounted up there you're not gonna see it when the top is all the way down but uh, we got a new one for you on heavier card stock. <laughs> so silly. Oh, I'm so excited for you too. Thanks, man. All right, just a couple things I got to set up for Brian here real quick. Yeah, I got my uh, Corvette jacket that you guys like so much. You mention it every time that I wear it, but who is the guy? I think he sent a picture. I got to try and find it that said, hey, Rick, that Corvette jacket makes you look like Count Dracula. <laughs> Come on, man. But it's got Corvette across the back, so that's why I set that up. So I just want to set up a few things for for him I'm gonna set the PDR up in advance not sure if he wants it to but I'm gonna set it up to be a dash cam and do automatic recording in the highest quality the 1080p setting for you guys and make sure the audio recording is on too that way you can hear inside the car in the event that something happened I'll probably do another quick video on that uh, again this car is still a discovery stage point right now as long as everyone's been waiting on it and some are actually finally getting it and it's easy to forget stuff. It's also, too, some people call me like, hey, uh, did I order a coupe or a convertible? I forget. <laughs> it's like, man, I don't know either. I got to look. I don't know. But you know how that is. It's crazy. This, uh, that's 2020, man. Okay, I think a lot of that stuff is set up. Okay, let's go load the car. And while I'm driving around to load up the car, this thing is so gorgeous inside. And actually, it's one of the few cars, and I'm glad that I saved the uh, steering wheel cover that has the microfiber suede, so it actually has the suede inserts in the seats, too. So check out a couple of quick pictures of Brian's car and his spec for his 2020 HTC. Uh, that stands for hardtop convertible. looking spec isn't it yes Brian knows how to order a car congratulations sir and Gary and Mark here in Ohio does this look familiar well it will you're 21 so I think one of you guys did the black spoiler and maybe one didn't other than that you won't be able to tell their cars apart a couple of red convertibles within 10 miles of each other thanks guys for your support thanks for your business right now for dr brian past customer of ours in texas last time he was here i'm really bummed i was looking for i enjoyed talking to him the other day we talked for i don't know about 40 minutes on the phone and it was very very enjoyable to, to catch up and just just to get through this year uh he's in the medical profession as you know he's dr brian and uh He's excited about his car. So is the family. And even the family watched the video. And again, if you missed that, that link is down below in the description. They too are excited to see the smiley face that's inside underneath the hardtop convertible. Here comes our drivers. 
Another situation looks like we're gonna be uh, pretty close to uh, last on, first off, man. That's cool. It was funny, you come up, check out a car and said, hey, Rick, man, you gonna, you gonna do your video? I know. Well, it was funny the other night, I was out here talking to my audience, as I do on the camera, doing our yeah. vlogging, and yeah. one of the drivers, I'm talking to the audience, and yeah. he's responding to what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm like, no, dude, I'm not talking to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was me. <laughs> it was funny, man, yeah. No, was that you? That was me. Was that you? That was me. It was dark, I don't know. Oh, it was you? Yeah. Okay, that's why he has to do the video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now you know, you knucklehead. Know. Okay, uh, so that was so funny. Yeah, you didn't get a chance to see that video, did you? No, I'll, right. I'll, 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 get, I'll get online and watch it. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, text me your number again. I'll text okay. you I'll text okay. you a link to that. Okay. It's the same guy. Be careful what I say. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Welcome to YouTube, baby. All right, Brian, thanks, man. I appreciate it. We're out here having fun. Thanks for letting me use your car in the video. It is a good looking spec. Another car with those two toned red and black seats. It's perfect, man. It's perfect. Brian, thanks again for the continued business. I really do appreciate it. Looking forward to your feedback on what you think of your brand new C8 hardtop convertible Corvette before she goes. Hey, now this is gonna get there just in time for Christmas, is that correct? Oh, it's gonna be, get there way before Christmas. Oh, that's great news. So yes, it is going to arrive just in time for Christmas. Nice little red Corvette underneath the tree. And we do have a send off pat for Brian in Waco, Texas. Congratulations, sir. Yes, kids, I'll <laughs> rub the wing. Have a good safe trip. Have a good Christmas, man. Thank you. You too. Have I a Merry Christmas. All right. I appreciate you guys. They do a <laughs> nice you. job for us. They do a real nice job. 80% of what we do is out of state. I couldn't do it without these guys. Trunk in the front. Wow. All right, pardon me. Trying to get set up in here. Um, I'm inside the car to talk to you for a second because the driver is sitting out back for Bob's car in Oregon. Now, don't start that again. Is it Oregon or Oregon? I don't know. It's I'm East Coast guy. It's Oregon. Uh, anyways, this driver comes up. Now, keep in mind, the shipping company was set up by the customer, and I didn't know he was coming, so we're running a little bit behind trying to get this ready, and he's kind of in a hurry, and I'm like, dude, what are you in a hurry for? I mean, you've got a five-day trip. I'm assuming it's got to be at least five days. Uh, you're going to Oregon. Uh, you can wait an hour or so, okay? Chill just a little bit across the streets, pizza place, wherever you want to get. So anyways, he walks up to me, not to make fun of the guy, but this was his accent. And now I'm probably gonna screw it up because I'm trying to do it for you guys on camera. But he comes up and he says, uh, "This, uh, this Corvette, these are automatic. Yes, automatic." <laughs> I go, "Yeah, they're all automatic." Yeah, boy. <laughs> He's like, it's this Corvette. I bet this guy can't spell Corvette. So, um, I understand the desire, the want to get the cars ASAP. Um, I'm hoping this is gonna be safe and sound on the way to Bob in Oregon. But here's something funny and something real cute. I wanted to share with you. I talked about this briefly, and it was, I think, probably five or six months ago when everybody that was actually going to get a 2020 was stuck at that 3,000 status, and we just we didn't have any scheduling. We just didn't know plants down. This, I mean, you, you guys know that's pretty much the whole year what it's been. So Bob calls me, and through the order process, we never talked about this. So he says, Rick, he says, I don't think you know this. He says, but I want to tell you, and because I told him, I said, I don't know when the car's coming. He's like, oh. He goes, I'm 83 years old. He goes, and I feel great right now. He goes, but I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. And I just want to be here to enjoy my Corvette. So any idea when it's coming? And then we dug into uh, <laughs> we dug into the reports and had some ETA stuff for you guys that we've been spot on. It wasn't what you wanted to hear, but it, it was what it, what it was. So at 83 years old, God bless you, Bob. Congratulations, thanks for the business. Uh, it is an automatic, boy. <laughs> it's automatic, it's only coming correct, right? Yes, okay. 
<laughs> so let's go get this thing loaded up, give it a quick send off, Pat. And thanks for watching it, Bob. Thanks for hanging in there. And thanks for your business. Okay, I gotta sign some paperwork here in a second and well yeah, I got the mask on and I got the gloves. I don't I don't know where this guy's been. Automatic Corvette, yes. <laughs> I have no idea. Some heebie jeebies. This thing called COVID-19 going on right now. That's right, Ricky. You're not playing. No, but I am. And that we're talking about the COVID craziness. Yes, I'm the guy that still, when we buy stuff at the grocery store, gotta wipe everything down before we put it away. I know. Hey, better to be safe than sorry, right guys? Right. Ugh, I hate these things. He's looking for the paperwork right now to me sign. Yes, Corvette or the gun. Oh, say it that way, or the gun. <laughs> Look how pretty the snow is now. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I should, if, I know there's rocks underneath here. If there weren't rocks, I think I can go further deep into there and there's grass make you guys a snow angel. But Ryan's not here without the drone, so it's not as effective. Bob, thanks again, congratulations. We do have glove and all, send off bad for you, sir. Appreciate the business, thanks for waiting. 83 years old, we're rubbing that wing and another thumbs up and a little salute for you, buddy. God bless you, driving at 83. I hope I make it to 83, man. Yeah, that's guys on the lot that are lazy that are just keep hitting the lock on lock button until they walk up to a car they're five feet from it and still hitting it really are you kidding me right now just give you a little slap upside the head okay that was uh interesting his trip to oregon is going to be interesting I can't stand these things. his trip to oregon is i'm sorry is going to be interesting uh bob congratulations once again everybody watching the channel right now thank you so much think about that 83 years old. That's freaking cool, man. And after I load the cars and I walk back to my office, leave the camera rolling as such, in case I have anything interesting to say. Sorry, I don't. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>